Hi everyone, it's Vicky here. I hope you are all well and safe. And let's have some fun today with a tag journal. So today I'm going to show you how I made this fun tag journal. It only has three pages, but there are four different layouts. I had so much fun putting this together, so let's get started. For creating my tag art journal, I'm going to use a kit from the new collection by Art by Marlene. So the kit comes packed with different products that you can uh, put together your own tag art journals. First of all, it comes with this die. You can die cut a piece and use it as a stencil or you can decorate the spine. And I'm going to show you a different way of how I use this die today. There is also an elastic that you can use at the end to keep your uh, tag journal together. There are two sizes of very thin washi tape. This is for sticking the pages together and putting the spine together as well. And there is also a flower embellishment that you can use to embellish your tag journal at the end. Now there are many different chipboard pages. There are three different designs with tabs on the side. There are 21 of those tags, so you can make your tag journal as big as uh, you like. I am going to start just for an example to use only three of them, like uh, all the three different tabs. But you can make it as big as you like. And you can make many of them since you get 21 tags. Here are the three tags that I picked. And I'm going to arrange them and stick them together with the washi tape that is included in the kit. Now the washi tape is quite thin, so once you use it, you will not be able to tell where it is after you add all the paints and everything on top. You will see what I mean at the end photos. Now I'm going to chop off the excess and I made sure that I didn't uh, stack those tags very close to one another. I leave about one eighth of an inch in between as a gap. This is going to help those tags open and close with no problem at all. I also like to go over that washi tape with my bone folder just to make sure that everything is uh, completely flat and nicely stuck there. And here's my tag book ready to go. Now on the outside you can use the thicker washi tape and then decorate it with the cutout of this die. But I decided to go with a thinner washi tape and it works just fine. So you have lots of options there. Now I wanted to create a full project for you so I will decorate everything front and back and in between the pages and that's just why I added only three tags on my tag art journal otherwise the video would end up being uh, super big and long but uh, of course you can add as many uh, pages as you like I would probably go with five and I would play along on this tag journal for a couple of weeks. So here is my tag journal all ready to go and let's start adding my details. Now first of all you can use the tie that is included in the kit to create a spine or to cover it, to cover up and decorate the spine. However I'm going to show you another way. Here I'm using double sided tape on a scrap piece of paper. This is quite thin and I'm going to use this paper now to cut out the die. I run it through my die cutting machine and this is what I have and now this is a sticker. I can easily peel off the backing and I can uh, cut out with my fingers different areas and stick them down on my tags. This way I am creating some visual texture. At the moment you can't really tell anything but once I start adding the color and the paint on top you will be able to see different areas of texture back there. I'm going to add little pieces here and there on all of those tags back and front, mainly staying on the edges. And I'm always making sure that I tear off pieces with my fingers so nothing looks perfect and it gives an organic look. Now as I'm sticking this down I need to let you know that uh, the price for this kit is uh, about $15. I think it's a great price and you will have lots of fun playing with it. You can use your watercolors, you can use your acrylic paints, you can use your markers, anything you like on top of this paper. This is chipboard paper, it is quite porous and if you want you can apply gesso on top of it to make it non-porous, whatever works here. Now I'm going to use my scissors and uh, just cut out everything that sticks out so that I end up having a nice and neat book 
and it's time to start applying my colors. Now for today I'm going to play with my new Dina Weekly uh, gloss sprays. I have been uh, using them before in another video where I introduced them. I absolutely love the effects. Here I'm working with magenta and you can see the spray works fine. I had trouble with my nozzle here, that's lemon, the color is lemon, but um, the truth is that just because this spray is acrylic spray, it kind of forms a skin on top of the, on the tip of the nozzle, all you have to do is just peel it off and you see it works just fine. So here is the first page, I'm going to add some uh, splashes on top of it, and um, notice that these splashes are going to blend in with the color with, uh, that is underneath and that's just because under the underneath uh, layer is not dry yet. If you leave it and uh, it's completely dry then the splotches are going to stay nice and uh, defined just like you do it in the beginning. So now I'm going to make sure that this is completely dry since I want to work on the second page. For the first page I went with lemon and magenta and now for the second spread I'm going with uh, lime lemon and also turquoise. I absolutely love those cells that are forming as one paint resists the other. You can even move the tag to have uh, some of that uh, paint flow. I'm using my heat gun to make sure that everything is completely dry so that I can uh, go ahead and work on the next page. Now for this one I went with ocean at the top and lime at the bottom. And here I'm trying to create kind of a scene, so I have the sky and the grass at the, at the bottom. And I'm also adding a little bit of white, since I'm thinking here that I can probably recreate kind of a cloud up there. So again I'm going to use my heat gun, make sure that everything is completely dry so that I can work on the last tag. Now finally for the last tag I'm going with turquoise. Then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon and you can see here I went overboard with lemon. I'm also going to add some magenta and I didn't like how I kind of lost the turquoise color so I'm going back with it again on top of the yellow. And would you like to see what I have up to now? Here are all the tags, full of color. You can probably see the texture that I have just by using the sprays. And now it's time to add some stamping. For that I will be using uh, the stamps from the Exclusive Textures stamp set. This is uh, one of my favorite stamp sets from this release by Marlene. I absolutely love all the doodles and you will have doodles for pretty much every page you want to make. I am trying to find a nice tin where I can add them inside so that I can use them in pretty much every one of my pages. Now at this stage I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do on top of these tags so I'm doing all the stamping with archival link just to make sure that this is going to be permanent and it's not going to smudge or smear no matter what I decide to do on top. I am using a similar color since I like to have a subtle background but I'm also going to bring in a little bit of black and then I will repeat the same thing on all the rest of the pages. I'm not going to bring in too many of the doodles, I'm using three different designs and I will stick with those throughout the pages. I like to have something similar on the pages so they look like a complete project and I kind of want everything to come together. And since I'm using uh, similar colors with the background, you probably can't tell what I'm doing here, so blue over blue, but trust me it's there. And I will repeat the same process for all the tags using the same doodles here and there. So at my background I do have color, I do have some stamping and I do have some uh, real texture from sticking down that die cut. So all I have to do now is to start uh, putting together little focal points. And all my focal points today come from the die cuts from uh, the Marlene collection. And I'm going to show them to you later on. I do have a video where I have unboxed the whole release where you can see pretty much everything there. And I will link to that at the end of this one. I did post this video today as well. So I put together a little scene here with those three little uh, leaves. I did use that uh, little girl. 
Uh, on top of her, I stuck down a little heart as well as a flower. And you can see that the girl has a white border all around. You can of course cut it out with your scissors, but it worked for me since I had a very busy background. So here are the two pads where I picked out all my die cuts that I will be working with today. Fun and quirky designs which is the unique style of Marlene, and I absolutely love her designs, really colorful and happy. For every one of my layouts today on these tags, I will use some quotes, I always like to do that on my layouts, so for that I will be using stickers from this quote book. Now, there are seven different pages, and for each page you get three different colors, so you can find the same uh, quote in white, in craft, and in black. I'm going with a white sticker here that says cool, archy and fabulous. I'm going to cut it down with my scissors to make it smaller so that it works for my layout. And these are um, very thin paper, they are nice and sticky and you can color on top of them, they are not glossy, so you can use them as in any way you like. Now, uh, for the second layout, this is going to be a two spread, so for that I'm using uh, cutouts that have to do with uh, crafting. So you get a, a palette, there are some crayons, some brushes, I'm using them on the other page. And I'm creating kind of a frame, a border with them. So notice that I'm going all around the edges. And I'm sticking everything down with my white Nouveau Deluxe. Of course you can use your matte medium or any other type of glue that you like. Now also notice that I'm working assembly line. So first I added the uh, color on the background on all my tags. Then I did the stamping on all my tags. Now I'm doing uh, the sticking down all the dies and creating kind of uh, uh, the layouts. But then I will come back and add uh, different details on each and every one of them. Now for this uh, sentiment, for this quote, I am going with one that has to do with a Greek word which is called Meraki. This is an actual word that we use in Greece and I absolutely loved the quote the moment I saw it, so I had to use it. And here is what it says. Meraki, a word that modern Greeks often use to describe what happens when you leave a piece of yourself, your soul, creativity or love, in your work, when you love doing something, anything, so much that you put something of yourself into it. And I think that there is no better way to embellish this beautiful quote with all those crafty die cuts. Now this is going to be again a two spread layout. I am using die cuts again from the two parts. I just picked bits and pieces from uh, both of them. And uh, this is going to create a little scene with my car going on vacation probably. I'm also going to embellish it with those uh, four little hearts that spell out the word love and I'm going to glue them down on my sky just for the fun of it and uh, I'm going to uh, make them look as if they are petals of a flower. And as a quote for this uh, spread I went with the sticker that says the best things in life are not things after all. I'm going to again cut it down so that it works better for my layout. And traveling is one of the things that I absolutely love, although we can't do anything now. But in any case, uh, that's why I think that quote with the little car going on vacation is uh, has a meaning for me. All the pages have actually a meaning for me. And that's just what an art journal is actually about. And since I'm now isolated at home and I cannot go anywhere, I can always uh, come up with travel ideas for my pages. So here is another one with a little plane flying away and some houses, really fun and colorful ones, at the bottom, creating another scene for my last page. I'm also going to stick a few of those stars. And as a quote for this page, I'm going with the sticker that says, Never look back, you are not heading that way. So now my little art journal tag book is pretty much ready. I do have all the focal points as well as the quotes on top of them. And all that's left to do is to add some doodling and some uh, little details here and there. These are details that I always like to do. So all I'm going to do is to use a very thin black marker and I'm going to go all around the die cuts. This is going to help them pop against the background even more. 
and then I'm also going to add some highlights with my white gel pen. I'm going to repeat the same process for all the die cuts on all the little tags that I created. I'm even going to do some doodling with my white gel pen. Just next to the black plus signs, I'm going to add some white signs. And since I'm adding some white details with my gel pen, I'm not going to do any white splashes, which is kind of a signature on most of my art journals. But I do have so many cutouts that I don't want to add splashes on top of them. And that's why I'm going with uh, little white details with my gel pen. So here I'm working on the second spread. Again, I'm going all around the die cuts, adding a black line to help them stand out even more. And then again with my white gel pen I'm going to add the highlights. I will do the same thing on all of my tags. Now I don't know if this is boring for you or if you want to see the whole process but since, but since I have everything filmed I am going to leave it uh, as it is. I'm going to put on some music so you can see how I finished all the tags and I'll catch you back once everything is ready. And here is my finished tag art journal book. I absolutely love it. I had so much fun creating it and it was the perfect project to do in these days where I have to stay home. Now you can go ahead and use the elastic from the kit along with the charm to keep it closed. You can also use different types of ribbons and uh, strings and or threads through the holes at the top of the tags. 
I absolutely love it as it is and I'm going to leave it this way. I hope that you had fun today as I was working on my new Doug Art Journal. I hope that you got inspired to do some craft today. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me. And until next time, stay safe. Thank you.